that movie. I wasn't a big fan. All right. Testing one, two, three, niner. That's texting. Texting, 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 texting. 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 Do it Welcome day. back to the sack. Happy uh, Wet My Whistle Wednesday from here in a very, very, very sweaty sack. Um, it is 9 o'clock here, 9.30 actually here in the East right 9 now. 9.33. Shout out to Patrick Ewing. Larry Joe. Love about Larry Joe. Um, love Patrick, Cambridge and Latin boy. Man, I love him. Asshole, love him. Anyway, um, welcome back to the sack. Yes, it is literally, what's the temperature right now? It is like, I'm starting to feel like we're in Mexico. Because when I was in Mexico, it'd be like 11 o'clock at night, and it would still be like 90 degrees. Like the temperature would, and the and the, this is with the breeze coming off the damn ocean. Okay, it was still like nine degrees. <laughs> this is crazy. Now we're not. You know, unfortunately, I wish we were near the ocean. This would be more fun. But um, luckily, we have a giant fan behind. We do. We plugged in a fan, screaming into the microphone. If you hear that little bit of a tinge, let's say, look, the boys are doing their job here, and they're doing it in, in not ideal conditions. We've been. This has been a sweat box since we started. I'm just trying to make sweat my. Box. I'm trying to get my comfortable a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more. And and, and he's. It's too loud. Nothing's louder than my mouth and his mouth. I think we all can agree on that. What I'm saying is we don't need any more sound. I'm saying we need to be cool. That's all I'm saying. Cool like Fonzie? Like cooler be, than a fan. Be cool, honey bunny? That one too. Be cool, yeah, honey, honey bunny. bunny. Everything's cool. Cool than a fan. Cool like Fonzie. Cool like Fonzie. Anyway, that is Tom Izzo, the redoubtable Tom Izzo. Redoubtable? Tom's, what does that mean? It's formidable. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, I am RJ, the man, the myth, the not so quite, uh, maybe not quite a legend, a little bit above average. The man, the myth, the story. The story, the storyteller. The man, the myth, <laughs> the one upper, the man, the myth, the whatever. They all apply. It just depends on my mood. So, anyway, a uh, lot to talk about tonight. Um, first of all, before we start, shout out to our friends to the South Sack, Heather and DJ Murray, who are expecting a little boy this evening or sometime today a little bambino a little bambi a little mini murray he's a yankee fan spanky fan so there's another yankee fan about there's only a billion of them. what's one more in the fan base so he's coming oh, yeah, let's think about it. so yeah. so actually this is a good this is a good topic yeah. yes we love you yes Paris. very very um, happy for but you guys. let's just discuss that we have a new sports fan coming into the we, world we do and we do. so you said he's going to be a yankee fan and this is if dad has anything to well, say but about this it. This is if he falls in line with what his parents are. Oh, he's so gonna fall in He's line. gonna be a Yankee fan. Yep. A Washington Commanders fan. So this is gonna be a fan that never knew the Redskins. That's true. He never knew. He only will know yeah. the Commanders. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Capitals. Got the Cal Ovi. Ovi still around. Is DJ really he, a Caps fan? He likes the Cap. He's not he like he likes he's hockey. A, he likes hockey. He's, that's like his third or fourth sport. He watches it because he likes Ovi. All uh, right, so but he's not a diehard. The new kid isn't going to I wouldn't say a diehard, but, you know, Wizards. Wizards fan. DJ likes basketball. DJ, DJ basketball. a Wizards fan? Yeah, he's from here. They were the Bullets back in the day. I know, but I never hear him talk about the Wizards. What's to talk about? They stink. Well, that's true, too. What's he going to say? Yeah, my team stink. Well, I mean, there's a couple of years like of John year. Wall. Yeah, but you said it yourself. He sat more than he played. That's true. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, so we have a new a new sack sackling adding to the bunch. Very excited for Heather and DJ. We love you both. Probably so gonna be angry. a golfer. Probably gonna be a golf. Yeah. By the way, if DJ, well, this is why we haven't had DJ on yet for any golf segment because he's busy becoming a dad. So uh, in fact, the other day he dropped a great line on another friend, Creekmore. Uh, he was like, "Shout out to Mike and Jackie." By the way, um, we'll be doing a lot of babysitting. I have a feeling. Um, so anyway, he dropped a line on it. They, they were packing up the car. Creek was out uh, doing the lawn, and on the way out, DJ looked up at Creek and goes. I'll see you on the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and that is very, very accurate. The other side. Because once you're a dad, that is the other side. It's a different world. It's a different world. All you dads out there, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway. But do you think it's immediately a different world? Yes. Like instant. Yeah. Well, the second, you know how this works. The mm -hmm. second they put that little adorable little dumpling in your arms, and those eyes lock with yours, so it's over. You know why? Because that's when it hits you. <coughs> I have to grow up right now. <laughs> like I can't procrastinate. Yeah, but that doesn't anymore. always happen. No, it does not. And I mean, it but let's not. say this: they're they're. I mean, DJ's a hell of a lot more grown up than I was when I had my first. Job. Yes, he is much more mature. I mean, I was a dumbass. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a, you know, he's got his ducks in a row. Yeah, uh, he moved here at thirty four. So I'm yeah, not gonna so go into what Heather, I was. And so yeah. does Heather. Heather, I, yeah. mean, I, I was not. I'm not gonna repeat what I was doing at that age. 
It's a lot of fun, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't going to get me into a place like this. So, um, of course, I never thought I'd get married either. Well, no, That's at that age, I was a parent. Yeah. So I wasn't. But I'm talking yeah. about when I had my first, yeah. you know, I wasn't yeah. ready for that. No, I don't think you were ready for So, it was like the world think, changed, right? So, yeah. I agree. It instantly changed. That's what I mean. But then, after a while, like... My mind wanted to rebel and be like, no, you're still young. You can be a dumbass. I think that happens to everybody. And then, you know. It's just it gets, a different level. Right. Then Why life slaps you around and goes, you're, you're no. a parent. Stop being a you dumbass. Stop being a dumbass. Yeah. Get yourself together. You, do you realize that there's, there's someone watching right now? And whether and this is the parents, you'll know this. Isn't it funny how your kids always remember all the stuff you don't want them to remember? But the stuff that's meaningful, that's supposed to help, they forget them. Because <laughs> we're not bring money everything. But all the bad stuff, like if you go off, like if you're a nut job like him or I, fanatical sports fans, and the Patriots are getting their tail kicked, <laughs> and all of a sudden I lose it, my son can recite that, and he usually does it Monday morning in school when the teacher asks, How was your weekend? Okay? So, but if I tell him to go clean his room, you know, which I tell him every day, that's a repetitive, you know what I mean? Shh, you know, so it's yeah. funny what they remember. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. My kids, like, I rarely um, discipline my kids with spanks, mm -hmm. but it has happened, sure. okay? Um, and, like, my kids will be like, yeah, remember that one time that you smacked me? <laughs> it was, like, four years ago. Well, that means you haven't hit them since. And they deserved it. And they probably asked for it. I would say 99 times out of 100. It wasn't violent. Kids... Well, well maybe some, of the, butt, they maybe some of the butt smacks were a little violent. They remembered it. So clearly it left a lasting impression. Yeah. Which, exactly. by the way, is what it's supposed to do. Exactly. But how yeah. about the time I hugged you and kissed you? Like every freaking day. Every day, every morning, clockwork. My daughter insists, my daughter Mia, who is 10, by the way, who insists on giving me 10 po pokes on each cheek <laughs> before she goes to bed. 10 pokes. 10 pokes on each cheek. I'm like, 10? <laughs> Look, honey, I, I'm 10 on each cheek? I don't know if that's a smart move. I don't know what's on there. I said, yeah, why don't you get sick? Where are those um, cheeks been? I don't know. I don't know. Acquiring <laughs> minds want to know. Kids are the best, yeah. though. We love them. And so, they're going to be awesome parents. Yeah, so they're going to be great parents. And it's a little boy, so we got a, a little sackling here. There are four little little, little buddies in the sack here now that are going to be looking out for them. It'll be great. So congratulations again, Heather and DJ. That could be dangerous. We are away. It could be very dangerous. Um, the influence and just there's oh, so, many, so much to unpack. Keep there. our kids away. Yeah, it might be the best thing for them. Um, but congratulations again, Heather and DJ. We are looking forward to that. When that text comes, we'll let everybody know. But uh, so happy for you both. We love you. And Godspeed. Godspeed with this. Um, what does anyway, Godspeed mean? Swift and safe. Where does that come from? I don't know. Well, you know what we do here when we and use we a go. phrase? Whenever we this use is, a and phrase. It's always him. Where does that come from? It's because you use every old phrase in the book. I'm old. And when I ask you... I'm not old, they, old, I old. ask you the origin, you never know. I didn't invent it. Any of them. Right, so why would I know? Them. Well, the origin could be 300 years ago. I don't know. Right, exactly. The first time I heard it was probably a, uh, an adult. I didn't bother to ask him, hey, would you... you Godspeed, man. Speed. I think, it means, I think it means swift and safe. It probably. reminds me of the phrase, to a man. Have you ever heard that <sighs> phrase? To a man? This is he was a champion of champions. We're like going to discuss it's baseball. It's like an That's ESPN Sports Center moment. Uh, listen, to a man. When you what? asked every person in that dugout, to a man. To a man? To a man. He was a stand-up guy. To what is man. to a man? I guess they're all saying the same thing. Okay, here we go. Merriam-Webster. All right. Webster. All right. Godspeed, what does it mean? a prosperous journey, a prosperous. comes from the Middle English phrase, God speed you, speed spelled S-P-E-D-E. -E. One E? One E. Between the... And an, and an E at the end. Oh, I saw it. Right. God prosper you. So it a was prosperous a journey? It was, is what it, means? it was originally used to wish someone success, like saying, may you prosper. Well, Godspeed, I think, would apply. These here. days, it's more often used to express hopes for a safe trip. Well, this is this is a journey. Is this considered a trip? This is a journey they're God going on. Godspeed, DJ. This, you guys know, especially if you're the dad and you, re, you resort to a cheerleader, this is the journey. <laughs> you're like, this is a different journey because you have no say in it anymore. You, you have no control over what's about to happen. 
Uh, and I guess mo like most fathers, I think that you don't like this, especially when it's, when it's involved people you care about. So you're kind of on the Almighty's whim here, you know, whatever you whatever you faith whatever your faith is. But um, but RJ, okay. Hands. Before we let this go, Let's let it go. Before we let this go, fifteen seconds or less, and I'm going to put a timer on. Yeah. One piece of advice. Oh, I give them. Yes, fifteen seconds or less, starting now. Uh, one piece of advice for you guys being new parents. Um, don't panic. <laughs> Instinct will be to panic every first time. Don't panic. Don't panic. Remain calm. All is well. <coughs> don't panic. Easier said than done. Especially, yeah. with the first, especially with the first one. I don't know about that. Don't panic. I didn't say it was good. This is advice. Right, but that's like saying run faster. I think don't panic with a firstborn if, if you know. There's going to be some times. There's going to be, panic. yeah, but there's going to be a lot of times in the beginning. Because you don't, you don't know what you don't know yet. So I'm just saying, so you don't have a heart attack or pop a blood vessel in your head, don't panic. All right, okay. here's my piece of advice. Okay. It's okay to not take someone's advice. That's it. So your piece of advice is okay to not take someone's advice. Yeah. Because when you're in You don't think they know that already? Well. Just I, a hunch. So here's why I say that. Because everyone will give you advice. Oh, you mean when it comes to the kids? Exactly. Okay, all right. That's okay. That's fair. Right. Yeah. yeah, we're talking yeah. about yeah. being a parent. Yeah. Advice for yeah. being a parent. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay that's not the, to take someone's well, no, advice. Just, because I, people are going to tell you things that are ridiculous. Oh, I never did that with my children. They can't. Okay. Doesn't matter. This is what I'm going to do with my kid. Every kid is different. Exactly. Every kid is different. So, so it's, and it, it, look, most of the time, now that there's good intent behind what they're trying to help. But at the bottom line, they're is, just trying to be know it alls. Well, the, I said, not, there's that too. But I'm saying most of the time it's not that. Yeah. One second. But every now and then you get that, that a hole. Yeah. That, that he's out there too. Yeah. She's out. Yeah. But I remember so, when Casey and I finally got comfortable saying, like, hey, you know what? Our doctor said this. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the discussion. You know it what I mean? Like a while to get to that point. To get to the point where we were comfortable saying that. Because you got family coming over. You know, you got grandparents coming over. And they're like, oh, yeah, give them a bottle of water. Or, you know, <laughs> they're just like, they'll tell you, I don't know. Don't put, the, to put the little, little, little nip of the Right, yeah, whatever the they're trying to tell the you. Gums, yeah. Whatever. And it's like, it's very empowering when you get to that point where you're like, you realize, no, like, this is my baby. So, um. Yeah. I appreciate the advice, and you raised me. <laughs> and, and I have some questions or maybe, about that. Or maybe you raised my mother or father. I have some questions about how you raised me. So. Right. Yeah, but the doctor said this is how we do things. So. <laughs> Go ahead and change the goddamn diaper. <laughs> yeah, that should be your follow-up. They'll change the diaper, and they'll throw the other one at you. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Part. They might connect. You never know. So, anyway, transitioning to baseball. Um... All star game, <laughs> well transitioned. All I don't care how well it was, it, just to, it has to happen anyway. No, I was all well star. Well all well star game was played last night. Um, I've heard, I've heard both sides of this argument. I don't know where I fall on it. Um, you know, there there are people that say, hey, because it was a heck of a game. It was down, it came down to like the ninth inning, and it was Boring. a guy up, and then there was that. Boring. There was both sides. I heard both sides of this today. I don't know where I fall on this. Um, first four innings were great. This was enough, not enough offense for you. Then. Well, I mean. <clears throat> so you don't appreciate great pitching. Both teams got all their runs in a half an inning. Okay. So, but then the both, the both pitching staffs locked things down. Well, against the best lineups in both conferences. And it was boring as shit. And that's boring. So you don't appreciate defense at all. I didn't say I don't appreciate it. Huh? I can sit there and go, wow, this guy's got nasty stuff. If a guy comes in in the sixth inning and he's looking at. The one, two, three hitter on the all. Awesome. Well, by the way, who was the one, two, three hitter last night? In the, the AL? Yeah, in the AL. Um, oh God. The judge was in there. So it was Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani, yeah. Um, God, who was second? I don't know. I thought the judge was in there somewhere, wasn't it? Judge might have been three. Three? Or four? Yeah, they, but anyway, if you saw that, I remember looking at them, oh, my God. I just remember Man. Shohei. And then Clayton Kershaw gave up a leadoff single. Single and yeah. then picked him off first, first yeah. which I thought was kind of weak that he threw over on him. Why? 
He's, he's trying to win? I don't think he was. Well, yeah, you're He's right. trying to win? <laughs> no, you're right. How dare you show some competitive spirit in but, a game well, that means nothing? Was Shohei Otani really going to steal? No, he, he went to take a little extended lead, and he was like, oh, shit, he's throwing. <laughs> Maybe he caught him napping. That's yeah, called game. That's that. Yeah, so no, I know. I'm just being. That's yeah. I don't find that. I, I, I'm just my, being my, a millennial. My Let me point be a is, my, I can't change it. Look, my point is this: if if that murderous row is coming up in the in a tie game in the sixth inning, and then you get this guy coming out of the bullpen, yeah, he's an all star, but that doesn't entice you at all to see what the hell this guy's going to do against him. <laughs> Dude, it was, and if he mows him down. That's not impressive. When you don't see a hard hit baseball for six innings, it's not exciting. Didn't they have, wasn't there a home run? That's what I'm saying. Everything happened like up, up to the fourth inning. All the runs were scored. All by right, So after the fourth inning, the offense had locked. Right, but my point is, if it's the sixth I don't th- inning, I don't think the, the NL had a hit after the first inning. Maybe one hit. So the AL pitching staff really shut them down. And so did the NLs. Well, that's the, you don't buy that in print. Those are the best lineups in baseball. But that's boring. I want to see the best hitters do hitter shit. Well, you know, but look, you've heard great pitching beats great hitting. True. I know. And okay. that's why the all So game we is see tough great, by the way, those pitchers were there for a reason, too. Uh, so if your guy came up, your pitcher, and he mowed that lineup down, you wouldn't find that impressive? I would. Yeah, if my pitcher was pitching every inning. Well, what if he came out of the bullpen? I waited to see one of my okay. pitchers come out of the bullpen, and he never did. Never did. What if he did, though, and he mowed those three guys? I would have loved it. Okay, then. That's all I'm saying. I would have loved a half an inning. <sighs> the pitchers aren't going to stop being pitchers because you want to see the long ball. The hitters need to In be In fact, better. by the way, when they... No, the hitters, the hitters are trying to hit long balls off the best pitching arms in the world so instead of taking right. a better approach and putting the ball in play. They didn't put the ball in play last night. So you're saying they were all trying to swing for the fence? There was one guy trying to manufacture a run. No, I won't say that. There's there is one guy um, in the American League on the All Star team. I don't even know his name, but he's batting like 340 Mm. because he's that kind of hitter. But all these other big boppers, like you see, like trying to do what they do. Exactly, they're trying to do what they do, but they're they're up against. Lights out pitching. And when you're up against those guys, sometimes you have to take a different approach and try to put the ball in play. Just take what they give you. Exactly. Because a good pitcher's not going to give you the long run. Right. They're not going to give you the, the meat. All right. Ball. All right. All right. That's, I, and I, I think, can see. I get that. And right. I think when the ball. So you just think they all sold out and kept trying to hit them over the fence. Well, I, that's what baseball is a lot nowadays. That's that's what they tell players to do. Um, you know, so I don't. Like Even in a, in a tie game where you know the pitching's good. Well, you know you're going to have to manufacture maybe a run to get. You're not just going to get. The floodgates aren't going to open with these guys. You know they stopped telling players to swing level. They started telling them to swing under the ball. Really? Yeah. When did that happen? That's been going on for a while now because they. they I had no idea that that actually happened. They started looking at launch angle and launch realizing angle. that, hey, they do all these advanced statistics that says, hey, if you swing. Is this more this analytic level, crap? It is. <sighs> Which, it's helped the game. But my point is, you can do all those analytics, but then you have to use your brain when you're facing a certain kind of pitcher and realize, oh, my typical approach, not going to work here. Um, even though, I mean, for, for you know, Giancarlo Stanton and Byron Buxton, I mean, they both hit bombs, so it worked there. But, yeah, there were some that left the yard. <clears throat> what I'm saying. Too bold. I know. It was just like, well, those innings were exciting. All right. Here's the thing. If it's a tie game, it wasn't a tie game. No, or it's a one-run game, though. That's close. But it felt like a 10-run game. But it's a darning. One-run game is a darning. Okay, so now you've got these great – now you've got to figure out, to your point, the strategy of this all. Like, what are they trying to do? And if, and if one co- conference didn't have a hit for, like, three straight innings, if it's because they're all trying to, you know, hit the long ball, then maybe the approach has to change. And does it change? If it didn't change, there's a question. Well, why did they only one run down? Why are they trying to do this? Why can't they just push one across? Yeah. That's a fair that that I understand. Okay, if that pissed you off, okay, that I that I totally because if I I remember I, I think I got to the fifth inning I fell asleep at the end of the fifth inning or the sixth inning, or the, but I get I didn't get to see the end of it. not because I didn't want it, I just felt I was tired but anyway so um, it was boring but if I no that's not why I fell asleep I fell asleep because I didn't sleep the night before <laughs> so anyway because um, I was watching the home run derby and I stayed up later to watch that whole thing so anyway <sighs> um, which was awesome 
So um, I, if that pissed you off, absolutely. He's like, you're down one one. What the one one? What the fuck? What you You haven't hit these guys in three innings. Why are we either bunting or, or uh, you know taking you know put, driving the ball or pushing it wherever they're t- you know if it's outside pushing the uh, other in the gap or whatever trying to get on base and manufacture a run. I mean, That's maybe, a fair maybe question. They, maybe they were trying to do that and the pitching was just that good. But. Well, this is the thing because I, I I love great pitching. Maybe it's just me because you know what I hate bad pitching. Bad pitching bore. That's boring. Watching the conga line go around the bases. You know, they bat through the order, like two guys get up twice in the inning or three guys. That's boring to me. I want to see some offense, but I want to see a balance. I want to see a little bit of ball. I want to see all of one and none of the other. That's all I'm saying. So, and look, maybe it was too much of that last night because I could, that, that would make sense to me. They, were, they did some things yeah. with the broadcast that made it fun. Yeah. Um, did you see any of that? Uh, no. So, some. like, the, the, uh, the announcers, the broadcasters were talking to the pitcher – Oh um, yes, pitching. yeah, and the and the hitter too, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was cool. awesome. Yeah, yeah, and one guy said he was going to swing at the first one, and he didn't. Took it out of the yard. <laughs> well, no, that was Otani. They interviewed him right before he walked into the box, yeah. and they said, "What are you looking forward to?" And he said, first pitch, first swing, and then first pitch, he hit a single, and then he got picked off first base." That was that play. <laughs> I thought there was another one that got called. He was going to hit, it, swing on the first, and he took it out of the yard. Could have swore nobody, that. nobody hit a home run on the first pitch. Oh, okay. well, maybe it wasn't the first. Pitch. There's other yeah. talking but about this guy. guy I so, think his name was Manoa from uh, the Blue Jays. He was asking John Smoltz, "What do you think I should throw this guy?" That's and Smoltz cool. was like, "Throw a back foot slider." And he's like, "Oh, you're sexy." <laughs> and then, and then he <laughs> he tried to throw a back foot slider, and he hit Jeff McNeil in the foot. That wasn't sexy, right? And he was like, "Ah, my bad. I threw a front, I threw a front front foot slider." This guy, I mean, this guy's pitching in a big league all star game. That's pretty cool, actually. And he struck out the side. Yeah. He, so he hit that one person, but he they struck out. Ab- that struck cool. out all three hitters. That's pretty cool. And he's like, oh, what he, he was like, I wonder what the catcher's. It was his battery mate. Uh huh. The catcher, last name's Kirk for the Blue Jays. Mm-hmm. So he was like, after it was 0 2, he was like, I wonder what he's going to call. Yeah. I think he's going to call a front hit, a front hit fastball. So you. Like Just that. to recap, we're going to end this segment in a couple of minutes. We'll try and keep it to 20, 25 minutes, break them down so you guys can get a break, too, with us. Um, but anyway, so um, <laughs> that's all right. It's the first one. So we, this is called, you know, progression. So um, just in closing, um, I, don't, I still don't know. I see both sides of this argument. And I see his, you want to see a little, some more offense. I just don't want to see all offense and no pitching. And, but I don't want to see all pitching and no offense. I want to see a happy medium. Where there's some strategy involved. The one thing that I, that I don't understand is this was a one run game. There should have been plenty of strategy involved. And maybe it was going on, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. <clears throat> but, but see, here's baseball that's fun, okay? Mm-hmm. So, team gets a couple hits, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Two on, nobody out. And yeah. now the pitcher, like, bears down. He gets a big strikeout. Yeah. You know, next batter, he gets a double play, he gets out of the inning. Mm-hmm. So it's like there's traffic on the bases. Yeah. There's some drama, yeah, but the pitching still overcomes. Okay, all right. Okay, but yeah, when it's fair. like when it's like oh, third inning, somebody somebody doinked a single into right field, and the next three guys struck out. See, I like seeing strikeouts. Like I know, but I like, do, especially if they throw. I mean, but strikeouts in big moments are even yeah, better. Well, of course, you know, strikeouts you be, yeah. with the bases loaded. Yeah. You bring somebody in from the yeah. bullpen. No, boom. there's there's a, I, I'm saying there's a media, there's a happy media. Yeah. There's a balance, right? Yeah. So I don't want to see too much of one, not enough. Of the other. that's where I. What do you think is so, a good score for a baseball game? To be entertaining. Uh, it's a well. If you get two aces on the mound, and then one throws eighteen strikeouts and one throws nineteen strikeouts, oh, to boring. me that's riveting. Because <laughs> uh, and but then they but then all of a sudden somebody loses it in the ninth, like a guy gets hit or something like that. You know what I mean? I like I. But to me, all right. So on average, I'd say five to four. Five to four. But five, see, that's not considered good pitching. Five to four. It's not awful, though. I agree. That, I think awful. that's an entertaining game. Five, five to four, because you get a little bit of both. Yeah. I think five to four is enough two, offense. Two to one can be brutal. Two, yeah, but if you got two aces going at it and they're no, both on their game, hey, that's if, not brutal. That's if awesome. If the Mets are playing Because then it's to... like, all right, he's, then you start looking at their pitch counts. And at least, is the other team at least driving the ball and hit fouling off a lot and de- getting them deeper in the count? I mean, there's, there's other levels to that, too. If it's two aces on the mound, I, if it's like Pedro against Randy Johnson or something like that, whoever the two best are in baseball right now, um, pick them. 
and they're both on their game, that, you know, that's, that to me is just as riveting. But I like to five but you, four. But it's not like we got to watch Randy Johnson for the whole game. No, so, no, I know. It's a different pitcher every so, inning. It's, you know. Anyway, that's where we are in the All-Star game. We'll come back. We're going to dig into the second half of the season. We're going to make second half projections. For the New York Mets, who are looking pretty solid, and the shit sucks. And believe me, folks, the shit sucks. Oh, trade deadline coming up. I'm going to dig into that. What should they do? What shouldn't they do? What? And, 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 and the local the local nine here, got to talk about them. So we'll be on that once we get back. You guys grab a frosty one. We'll be back in a few minutes. Frothle?